It, no, you're, you're exactly right. I, I don't mean to say that everyone's going to give up their cars. Sure. Like I said, I don't believe, I, I'm not giving up my car. I'm not sharing my car. I want my <laughs> own car. But what I'm saying is that as the cost goes down, and it's going to go down dramatically for, let's just say, uh, average household incomes that have not gone anywhere in 20 years. If you can go to that household and say, you know what, if you give up that second car or even give up your cars completely, you can save several thousand dollars a year. For those households, that's going to be a lot of money. And as long as they know that a car will show up in five minutes when they fire up the app on their phone, they'll be more than willing to give up that car. Hey, we got a good show lined up for you today. 20 years into the internet for the auto industry. To me, that's the biggest change of what's going on. Folks, if you're just tuning in, uh, welcome to Auto Converse on Air. Uh, Ryan Girardi here, and I have John McElroy, host and producer of AutoLine and AutoLine.tv. And John, if I can get into this episode that you were, where Larry Dominique was on, I had to chuckle because I think the word mobility was used well over a hundred times. And as you know, the name of, uh, for Auto Converse, our theme is future mobility, future connectivity. And even as little as six months ago, I had someone tell me, Ryan, I don't know what you're thinking. I don't think people are that interested in the future of mobility. And so to listen to that podcast and hear Larry talk about being a mobility company, I really just had to chuckle. Let me ask you a loaded question. What were your thoughts in general on that conversation with Larry? Well, it's very interesting. You know, PSA, as I mentioned, is over 100 years old. Uh, Peugeot and Citroën used to be in the American market. They dropped out years ago. Now they want to get back in. Even though China is now the largest auto industry in the world, or the largest auto market, there's still more profit to be made in the United States than there is in China. And PSA recognizes is if it wants to be a global player, it's got to be in the American market. But how do you do that? I mean, it's so complicated, so competitive. It would be so expensive for them to get back in. What they've decided is, okay, instead of coming back to America and try to sell cars, let's try an easier route. Well, let's cry, try to create mobility services. And by that, you know, we're sort of talking like Uber and Lyft and Zipcar and Maven and all of them wrapped into one. And that's how they're sticking their toe in the water. Uh, in fact, they've created an app that anybody could use that would be for ride sharing and car sharing. Their next step in their plan, if things go well, is to bring Peugeot cars into the American market and use them for ride sharing and car sharing. And if that goes well, then their plans are ultimately to come back and start selling cars in the United States again, maybe even manufacturing them here, but one step at a time. And so they're starting out with this app. And John, folks, so you know, he created AutoLine Daily, which is the industry's first webcast of industry news and analysis. He is also the host of the television program AutoLine This Week, which is an Emmy award-winning weekly half-hour discussion program that features top automotive executives and journalists. And John also co-hosts AutoLine After Hours, which is a weekly live webcast that focuses on new cars and technology. So you can catch all this at AutoLine TV. But John, you've been doing this uh, for how long, would you say? Well, the, the AutoLine part of it, I've been doing for 21 years now. That's when we started it. I, I spent half my career in print and uh, probably in the around 1996 or so, I recognized that the internet was going to destroy print as we knew it then. And I decided I better get online and uh, especially get into video because that seemed to be where the world was going. Well, John, it, uh, again, appreciate you coming on time to uh, talk with us about these things. It was definitely a pleasure having you here. Uh, John McElroy, everyone from AutoLine.tv. Check them out. Thanks, Ryan.